डॉक्टर जितेंद्र सिंह जी श्री शेखर दत्त जी श्री हसन त्रिपाठी पार्टिसिपेंट्स ऑफ वेरियस ट्रेनिंग कोर्सेस दी ऑफिसर्स एंड फैकल्टी एंड माय डियर फ्रेंड्स नमस्कार एज प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ दिस प्रिस्टेजियस इंस्टीट्यूट इट गिव्स मे ग्रेट प्रेजा टू डिलीवर द फर्स्ट डॉक्टर राजेंद्र प्रसाद एन्युअल इंटरनेशनल मेमोरियल रिक्शा ऑन द अकेशन ऑफ सिक्सटी एथ फाउंडर्स डे ऑफ आई आई पी ए विद द चैलेंज ऑफ द कोविड नाइन्टीन पैंडमिक ऑन द वे इन इंडिया एंड विद द ईजिंग ऑफ ऑल रेस्ट्रिक्शंस आई एम डिलाइटेड टू बी हियर विथ ऑल ऑफ यू आई मस्ट थैंक आई आई पी ए फॉर दिस ऑपॉर्चुनिटी प्रोवाइडेड टू मी an iconic leader who ever who earned lavish praise from mahatma gandhi on several occasions independence india's first president bharat ratna dr rajendra prasad devoted his entire life to see a prosperous unified and strong india that is our mission independent strong prosperous india and i add one line to that strong stable prosperous and happy india we need to work towards making a st stable strong and happy india for that we must first focus more on making of developed india making of developed india that is our first task the work in progress and for that the officers working in the indian administrative service they have a great role to play the political leadership of the country they will and the parliament they formulate policies programs welfare measures but reaching out to the people and delivering the developmental agenda and welfare agenda rests with the administrative officers so in this task i would like to call upon all the officers working in various capacities focus on first making a developed india and then make it a prosperous happy india happy india irrespective of caste creed sex religion and region every section of the public should feel proud that is an indian should feel that is part of the development of story should feel that benefits of the government of india schemes are reaching to them this is our mission for this mission we have to take inspiration from great people first president and also the unifier of india sardar vallabhbhai patel unity is vital without unity what will happen you have already seen i need not explain that's why unity is paramount for country's progress safety security of the nation is very important and all these tasks has to be performed by the administrative officers so iipa through its guidance through offering various courses is moving in the right direction i want this to further penetrate to various even district level district level because they are the people at the bottom of implementation they should be motivated and they should be trained and they should be given the task and they should feel 
that they are getting proper guidance and get motivated and involved in their mission of making developed India. This mission has to be accomplished without any remission or expecting any commission or doing any omission. Everyone must have a passion to make the nation strong, stable, prosperous and happy. That is the mission one should focus. The democratic values, right from my student days, were inspirational to me and they were inspirational to the past president, Rajendra Prasad. He really worked very hard and then he was able to rose to the position of the first president of India. Babu Rajendra Prasadji was a visionary leader. He had a clear vision who understood the important role civil servants play in shaping a strong and inclusive India. Our civil servants across the country have been striving over the past seven decades to shape Dr. Rajendra Prasad's vision into a living reality. IAPA has contributed in significant measure to this national effort. The Institute journey from the time that it was founded in 1954 has been an eventful one marked by a trust to be responsive to the changing needs of governance. The world is moving faster. New developments are coming. New opportunities are coming and also new challenges are coming. So you need to train people to understand this and to strive for excellence. Culture of academic excellence. Culture of administrative excellence. By your conduct, caliber, capacity. That is very important. And we must also keep in mind the value system which our forefathers has given to us. The values, the ethics, the standards in public life by following them in their own life. This is very important. The essence of the unifier of India, Sardar Vallabhai Patel's advice was in that direction. They, he said that this administrator should be guided by the spirit of service. Service. The institute today is primed to act as a catalyst in ensuring the governance reforms in the country. It can also do so effectively through its activities and collaborations, supported by eminent faculty. My dear friends, as I was telling you, the public administration must seek to be more citizen-centric, pre-dedicated on the principles of justice, morality and fair play, driven by the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Bhai Modi's vision of Sabka Saat, Sabka Vikas and Sabka Viswas. Sabka Prayas is equally important. This is possible only if every one of us in the system, President, Vice President, Prime Minister, Ministers, people at various layers of administration, if all of us join together and take up this mission, then it, it will really accelerate the development. India today stands poised on the cusp of a transformative era in which every citizen seeks to be an empowered catalyst of socio-economic change. Our ultimate aim is 2047, they are saying. We would like to see an India where there is no poverty, where there is no illiteracy, where there is no discrimination, social discrimination, gender discrimination where there is no casteism, 
where there is no scope to arouse regional feelings or ill feelings. This should be our objective. Every person must be able to live with confidence, with pride, and feel that he is a Bharatiya first. We should all work in the direction for that minimum government and maximum governance. The government of India has been framing policies and programs in the direction the revival of Indian economy. India is once again on the move. Even after the setback we received in the COVID pandemic, we are moving faster. But the faster development must be inclusive. To, and we must all aim to work for Atma Nirbhara Bharat. We should be independent. We should not depend on anybody from outside. For that, we must empower people and we must take out the skills, hidden skills in every individual and give them a supporting hand so that they also can excel in their life. The growth rate of 8.5% in 2022 for India, the IMF has projected. If we all work together in unison with the commitment, this is possible. The government of India has taken up many social security programs and the net is wider than or before, covering the neediest sections of the society. There are several tangible indicators of the government's model of Suraj or good governance. There are many schemes like Pradhan Mantri Jana Dhana Yojana, the most far-reaching financial inclusion initiative in the world. In the world, Pradhan Mantri Garib Kalyan Yojana to help the poor to tide over the crisis of this pandemic. We have come out with a program, Ayushman Bharat, the government's flagship healthcare outreach program, Digital India program, Pradhana Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana and many others. My dear sisters and brothers, the IAPA's role in training civil servants to be active members of a sound, responsive and competent administration, sensitive to the needs of the poor, is laudable. Where the nature of a public servant leadership is rooted in service, last mile delivery of public service is critical and this is where the administrators play a key role. Your job of training them through a number of programs and activities is equally important. Civil servants and administrators must ensure that gaps in delivery system are efficiently and effectively plugged. We must bear in mind that the bonus is on civil servants to ensure the governance reaches the doorsteps of the poorest and most vulnerable segments of our population. The main mark of the effective implementation of any development program lies in the extent to which it can positively impact on the transformation of the lives of the needy sex of society. Civil servants must be remembered the fact that there is no better touchstone of a welfare scheme and development initiative than the prosperity of its beneficiaries through efficient implementation. Among other things, the administrator need to be more accessible to the needy, underprivileged to accomplish this mission. Civil servants must co-opt citizens from all sects of society down to the last individual as active partners in scripting India's growth story. Doing so, they would be fulfilling Dr. Babu Rajendra Prasadji's dream of a prosperous and inclusive Bharat. That was the vision, that was the dream. A citizen-centric paradigm of governance 
hinges on efficient public service delivery systems. Such a system must be able to adapt itself to the growing needs and aspirations of citizens. Inclusiveness, accountability, agility, transparency, objectivity, and honesty constitute the key facets of the complex task of public governance. Some of the defining features of good governance, therefore, are comprehensiveness, fair play, integrity, efficiency, and equity. I hardly need to add that civil servants must be open to upgrading their skills, adopting and scaling up the best practices within India and outside the country. Only then they come up with innovative out-of-the-box strategies and solutions to complex challenges in governance and administration for effective implementation of the programs and the policies on the ground. So you have an important role to enhance the leadership qualities and also to provide administrative competitiveness. The initiatives that IIPA is taking from time to time, I'm very happy, they are praiseworthy. And uh, I hope in the coming days also, you will move in that direction with much more velocities. Efficient, effective and ethical governance. Efficient, effective and ethical governance are essential. Then you will be fulfilling the vision of Dr. Rajendra Prasad and also the founding fathers of this institute. Rajendra Prasad Ji was a firm believer in Gandhian principles of truth and non-violence. Truth and non-violence. That's why he endeavored himself to Bapu Gandhi Ji. And Gandhi Ji recognized his uh, dedication and he visited Champara, Bihar, and later wrote in his autobiography, I quote, Rajendra Babu is one of the best volunteers working with me. His affection has made me so dependent on him and that without him, I cannot move a step forward, unquote. Babu Rajendra Prasad dreamt of a harmonious and egalitarian India, free from the shackles of caste and creed, in India which the rulers and administrators would strive to ensure socio-economic justice to all. I dedicate this lecture to the sacred memory of Dr. Rajendra Prasad and bow my head in reverence to this great son of our motherland whose life is defined by the virtues of altruism, truth, service and simplicity. That is what is needed. So I wish IAPA and its team a great success in all its future endeavors. Thank you very much. Namaskar. Jai Hind.